What is going on guys? I hope you're having a fantastic day. I certainly am because I just took delivery of this beautiful yellow Lamborghini Urus. You guys know I am on the hunt for a replacement car for the E63. And the last car on my list to test out, spend some time with as a potential replacement is this car right here. The presence the Urus has is unbelievable. In my opinion, this is the best looking SUV of all time. Crazy enough, this is one of the few vehicles that actually looks better than the concept that the company released several years prior to them actually building the Urus. Something about the way it stands, the fact that it's a Lamborghini and it is unbelievably fast makes me really, really excited. I got this Urus thanks to an amazing company called Turo, the best place to rent a car, period. They've got cars online ranging from Mustangs to E-Classes, all the way up to Rolls-Royce Cullinans, Aventadors, and even the Lamborghini Urus. You can even put your own car up for rent on Turo and help cover the finance or lease payment. Seriously, Turo is awesome. Click the link in the description below to learn more about Turo and rent yourself an epic ride. For those of you who missed my review on the Urus a while back, we'll go over some specs for you guys. So the Urus is powered by a four liter twin turbocharged V8 that makes an astonishing 641 horsepower and 627 pound feet of torque. Lamborghini rates at zero to 60 time at just 3.5 seconds. Although according to Motor Trend, it's able to hit 60 in three seconds flat. The Urus even has a top speed of 190 miles an hour, making it the fastest SUV in the world. And check out the front brakes. It's got 10 piston front brakes. These are the biggest to be fitted on any vehicle. I don't know if you guys can tell by my level of excitement, but I am so stoked to be back behind the wheel of this car because I honestly think this is my favorite potential replacement for the E63. I want a Lamborghini back into my life. I miss owning a Lamborghini and this would be a hell of an addition to the fleet. Ooh, Spencer just rolled up. What's good, dude? Sup? Holy crap, we got the whole squad rolling through. What up? Look at this beauty. What up, dude? Do you get this thing on Turo too? Yes. We're having a Turo meetup. The hey. Urus is from Turo. <laughs> Check out how this thing sounds. This is unbelievable. bunch of my friends in the Urus. We got Maddox, we got Spencer, we got Isaac, we got Anthony, and we're gonna go for a quick little, is that a cop right there? Yes, yeah, it is. Oh shit. Well, we're going left, boys. <laughs> <laughs> that was hilarious. All right, what's the space like back there? It's actually pretty nice. Not bad for five people? Yeah, Hell yeah. yeah. All right, we are in Corsa mode right now. This thing has it should have seven different driving modes, but I can't figure out two of them. Holy shit. <laughs> Hopefully we won't be needing sand on this one. <laughs> this is crazy. Oh, a horse crossing. Oh my god. <laughs> For an SUV, this thing is nuts. Rip is insane. on this thing is absolutely ridiculous. Holy crap. Maddox, thoughts on the Urus? Bro, no. <laughs> <laughs> this thing's nuts. It's freaking crazy. Yeah, it's freaking what do you guys crazy. think? It's nuts. Honestly, for five people in the car, this thing mobs. Yeah, there's like an extra thousand pounds literally in here and it's unbelievably <laughs> and it's fast. It's actually yeah. really luxurious. Yeah. I, mean, I have memory seats here. Yeah, there's a lot of space back there. Well, for 250K, I would hope so. Yeah. The grip and the torque in yeah. this thing is gnarly. Yeah. That launch was insane. Yeah, we lost traction. <laughs> All right, time to go on a little mob now. I can't believe I'm going on a mob in an SUV, but this thing's capable. Let's do it. This Evo 9 is gorgeous. Check this thing out. 
full bolt-ons, boost gauges, and this A-pillar. I like these cars. And then, of course, Isaac's beautiful new M3 CS. So what all is in a full bolt-on upgrade for this car? You have intake, intercooler piping, a bigger intercooler, uh, stock turbo still. We have uh, injectors, fuel pump. And that's pretty much it for the most part. Basic bolt-on Evo, making a little over 400 horsepower to the wheel. Nice. Little yellow B chilling on the yellow Urus. I I'm in love with the way this looks, guys. It's unbelievable. Sitting in the back of the Urus, the level of space back here is actually incredible. Check out how much legroom I have with my driving position in the same way I would be if I was the driver at 5'11". Tons of space, and then the Alcantara roof actually goes in a little bit right here where your head goes, so there is tons of headroom. Cool dual sunroof here, got climate controls, and the quilted yellow stitching is badass. Honestly, I think my favorite interior color, they have this light blue, it looks fantastic with like a matte black Urus, that'd be a spec. Then three massive displays up there. Then we've got a driving mode selector that looks like something straight out of Halo. On the left, we've got Strata, Sport, Corsa, Nev. Uh, this is the Anima shift knob, so you can change the different modes like you do in normal Lamborghinis. Then we've got uh, various customization ego mode, gives you full customization over the handling and the powertrain as well as the suspension. It's got an eight speed automatic gearbox, paddle shifters on the steering wheel, and honestly for an automatic, it shifts incredibly fast, especially in sport and Corsa mode. All right, time to roll out and go on a little drive with some friends. Let's hit it. I am absolutely in love with this car, guys. It weighs 4,900 pounds, which actually is only about 400 more than the E63. And honestly, to me, it feels kind of like a raised off the ground E63. It is unbelievably fast. The V8 sounds incredible. The center differential can actually send 100% of the power to the rear wheels and up to 75% of the power to the front wheels, depending upon uh, the scenario. This thing is wild. I'm, I'm in love with this. I'm just honestly waiting until my lease expires. I think these things are gonna come down in value when they make a ton of them, and uh, it's gonna be one hell of a used car deal. Launch control activated. <laughs> wow. So up to this point, because it's a Lamborghini, I've literally only driven this in Corsa mode, but I put it into Strada mode, which is Lamborghini's term for comfort, street, and it is so relaxing. The exhaust is quiet, the steering is unbelievably light, the suspension is so smooth. I am, I'm head over heels in love with this car. This actually can do so many things at once. Holy moly. The Urus is absolutely nuts, guys. The level of confidence that this thing inspires on twisty roads is ridiculous for any car, let alone a 4,900 pound SUV. I've pretty much driven all of its sporty competitors, the Bentayga, the X5M, obviously in a different price class. The only car that comes even close in this category of SUVs is the X5M. There's no body roll and it actually feels like a Lamborghini in SUV form. I am in love with this and I think this has gotta be my next daily driver. Good amount of storage space in the back too. I love how the storage covers Alcantara with contrasted stitching. out cruising here that m5 sounds insane but uh the urus all the way the urus also has an incredible optional bang and olufsen sound system check out what happens when you turn the car on the tweeters raise out of the dash i love silly features like this that is too cool 
Gonna go for a ride in this Z4M. As you guys remember, a long time ago, I actually had a giveaway car, and it was a standard Z4 with a manual. That car was a ton of fun, but this is basically like a lighter weight E46 M3, so I am stoked to check this out. And I think, Maddox, what, you're looking into buying one? Yeah, I'm thinking about buying one of these, so I figured spend the 200 bucks on Turo, try it out for a few days, see yeah. if I really like it. How do you like and it so far? I love it so far. I mean, the steering's great. The shifter is just super short throws. Yeah, that is beautiful. That's really nice. All um, right. And I mean, I'm 6'2", there's a lot of space in here, so. That's pretty impressive for a small car, actually. These things look cool. All right, let's go for a ride. Not sure how I feel about the wood trim. I kind of like it, I kind of don't. It's interesting. It's interesting. It's a lot of wood like right there. That's yeah. Like six inches of hard wood. Damn, it corner's flat. Yeah. There's actually a surprising amount of room in here. He's right. Honestly, this thing corner is incredibly flat. Sounds like an E46 M3. A little bit more unique than an E46 M3. I like it. The other hidden gem that makes the Urus an unbelievable next daily for me is my friends are currently right now in Pismo Beach with their Raptors. We got James out there, Alex, Malcolm, and they are off-roading. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to make that trip, but I didn't really even have a car that I could drive there. But the Urus is unbelievable off-roading, and that'd be pretty cool to be able to join my friends for some adventures. Speaking of off-roading, check out this vehicle inclinometer that shows a 3D picture of a Urus at what angle we're traveling at in terms of the incline, decline, or pitch side to side. That was pretty cool. Can raise the Urus's air suspension up. It also gets phenomenal gas mileage. The last hour, I've averaged 6.7 miles per gallon. That, that's just killer. The graphics for the displays are really impressive. I love how aggressive the tachometer is. We'll go ahead and put it into sport mode. Gets a little bit more aggressive, changes colors, and then Corsa, that horizontal tachometer, kind of like an Aventador SV tachometer. Then on the left, we've got a touch screen for all of the infotainment, uh, navigation, your phone. And then down here, we've got another touch screen as well for all of the climate control. Let's go ahead and activate ego mode. And as you can see on the left, we can custom control the powertrain as well as the steering. I like how it's smooth, medium, and sportive and the suspension as well. My only real complaints with the car was that there's no heads up display or ambient interior lighting and I didn't think there was any self driving systems but it turns out heads up display is an option. There's an interior lighting package. It's not quite as cool as the E63s but at least we get some sort of interior lighting which honestly I love. And it turns out there's a package called ADUS, Advanced Driving Assistance System and I believe that has a highway and urban mode which should include some form of self self-driving and lane keep assist. I'm so excited I've got to spend a couple days with this car because honestly, I was at a loss for what my next car should be. But after driving this, it has to be the Urus. It has to be the Urus. It is so much fun. It's a Lamborghini. I wanna bring a Lamborghini back into my life. It drives incredibly well and it looks just absolutely savage. And the fact that it has that off-road capability too is really appealing to me because the few times I've gone off-roading with friends, it has been so much fun. It is an entirely different type of driving and style. It's a whole new world that I want to explore and you could do that and more in the Urus. This thing looks absolutely badass parked on my lawn. I can't get over the looks. Man, that is awesome. All right, I found out why I couldn't activate the other two driving modes. This car doesn't have the off-road package, which gives you two additional modes, Terra for off-road and Sabia for sand. Imagine this thing in the dunes. In fact, all of their promo work for the launch of the Urus was basically in Dubai, ripping through the dunes. That would be a blast. wanted to take the Urus off-roading. Now, considering the fact that it's not mine, we're not gonna do some crazy off-road adventure because, well, it's not that nice. This road I actually took my S-Class to. Oh, look, there's a truck. 
This road I actually took my S class to about two and a half years ago and drifted it all over the place. It's a really, really fun road, but we can test out, you know, a tiny bit of the car's capability. Let's send it. So because this car doesn't have the off-road package, I'm a little bit at a loss for what mode to put it in. Uh, the only off-road mode it has is Nev, which is for snow, which obviously isn't ideal in uh, this kind of rugged uh, dirt. But uh, I guess we'll try sport mode because Corsa is probably a little bit too sloppy. Let's see what it's like. top of the mountain unfortunately there was a decent amount of traffic but we're gonna send it up this little incline here see how the Urus does we got the air suspension raised up all the way let's go up this hill Time to go back down the hill. Funny is this so we were looking for other cars to rent on Turo he found this <laughs> sick Aventador and it's literally right here <laughs> that is awesome well it has been an amazing last couple days with the Lamborghini Urus in fact I drove by the freeway saw a yellow Urus at the Lamborghini dealership and it just I need one of these in my life I need it this has to be this is going to be my next daily driver. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Seriously, the car's amazing on the off-road, super fast, super luxurious, looks badass, really tunable, and there's a lot of aftermarket stuff I can do to it as well. Carbon fiber options from 1016 Industries, maybe throw some anarchy wheels on it. Regardless, I am pumped. Look forward to seeing you guys next video.